Is it possible to love two people at the same time? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to dive into a topic that so many of us have wondered about at some point in our lives. Is it possible to love two people at the same time? This is such a common question and experience for people, especially as we go through different relationships and stages of life. I want this video to provide a thoughtful and empathetic discussion about the complex emotions and motivations behind this situation. My goal is that anyone who has been faced with these feelings can come away with a deeper understanding and compassion for themselves. While it may seem black and white, the capacity to love and what defines love itself is such a nuanced thing. There are many factors to consider when exploring whether loving two people simultaneously can work or is morally right. We'll be digging into both sides of the debate. First perspective, yes, it is possible. So first let's examine the reasons why some believe it is possible to love two people at once. There are a few key arguments on this side. One, love is not finite. The common expression is there's room in my heart for you both, meaning that the heart's capacity to love is not limited to just one person. Just as we can love many friends and family members, some believe romantic love can expand too. Two, different people fulfill different needs. Oftentimes the two people involved satisfy separate emotional needs. For example, one provides stability and comfort while the other provides passion and excitement. Both connections are meaningful. Three, people change and grow. Over the course of life, our needs shift, and we may feel we've outgrown a relationship that was once fulfilling, while still caring for that person. Feelings can develop for someone new. Honoring both relationships demonstrates maturity. Four, society's standards are too rigid. The idea that we should only romantically love one person for our entire lives does not work for everyone. Some believe we must create our own definitions of commitment that work for our needs. So in essence, this viewpoint takes a wider perspective on the human heart, believing it has an innate ability to expand its love to nurture multiple meaningful relationships. Second perspective, no, it is not possible. Now let's explore the opposing side, which argues it is impossible to truly love two romantic partners at the same time. The key points here are, one, true love requires full commitment. Real love means dedicating yourself completely to one person in both your actions and emotions. Split focus will hold you back from intimacy and devotion in relationships. Two, Jealousy is inevitable. No matter how enlightened you may think you are, the human brain is wired to be territorial when in love. Over time, jealousy will erode a polyamorous relationship. 3. Balance is in realistic long-term. Trying to maintain equal passion, effort, and responsibility between relationships sounds appealing but rarely plays out. Over time, one connection often suffers. 4. It's a slippery slope. While exceptions exist, pursuing multiple romantic relationships often leads down an unhealthy path. Lines can too easily become blurred, leading to deception and damaged trust in the long run. 5. Society evolves slowly. Social norms shape our emotions and responses. Even if you rationally believe you can love two people, guilt and anxiety will infiltrate the decision emotionally as you have to keep it hidden from society. This view argues lasting fulfillment comes not from chasing passion in multiple directions, but cultivating depth and intimacy in one relationship. True commitment and selfless love is only possible between two, not divided across three or more. My personal thoughts, so now that we've explored perspectives on both sides, I want to share my personal thoughts on this heated debate. I can certainly understand valid points made by each viewpoint. However, in my opinion, 
While caring deeply about two people is common, truly being in love with two people simultaneously is challenging. Here are three key reasons why I've come to this conclusion. One, long-term stability is difficult. Consistently splitting time, attention, and energy between two separate relationships for the long haul is demanding. Most humans crave a sense of security and belonging that comes with commitment to one partner. Spreading yourself across two relationships can stir anxiety and prevent establishing roots. 2. Balance of needs is unlikely. To sustain connections with two people, their unique needs from you must seamlessly complement each other long term. This is improbable as needs are prone to change and out of your control as they are specific to each person. One relationship will inevitably feel it's missing a key element the other fulfills. 3. True intimacy has limitations. Intimacy means deep understanding, familiarity, resonance, comfort, and transparency between two people's hearts and minds. This takes time focus, and vulnerability that trying to match across multiple relationships can easily impede. For these reasons, while it's understandable to have affection for more than one person, maintaining genuine love and commitment to two people equally seems difficult for most. I believe directing energy into one fulfilling relationship is more sustainable for the long run. Three key takeaways, all right, We've covered a lot of ground today on this heated debate. To wrap things up, here are three key takeaways to keep in mind. One, there's no absolute right or wrong. Each person needs to examine their own heart and motivations. Be honest with yourself about what you really seek to gain from loving two people. Two, mindfulness is essential. If choosing to pursue relationships with multiple partners, Honor each connection in its separate uniqueness. Avoid comparisons or making someone feel inadequate. 3. Communication is key. Polyamorous setups require openness, transparency, and clearly defined boundaries for all parties involved. Ensure needs are voiced clearly to avoid misunderstandings. So in summary, while human hearts and needs are diverse, truly sustaining equal love and alignment across multiple relationships is an immense challenge. Focusing efforts on nurturing one rewarding, healthy relationship often brings greater long-term fulfillment. But again, there are always exceptions in the messy world of love. All right, everyone, that sums up my thoughts on this topic. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if this resonated with your own experiences. And hit subscribe for more content delving into the many complex mysteries of love. Talk soon.